Hi, Redeemer families. We are living in a time of history that's like no others. And your children are living it with you. It's going to be talked about for generations to come. Schools are closed. Sports have halted. Travel has stopped. Um, we could go on and on. Many, if not all of us, have heard people doing um, things with their families or with their schools to help them remember this time, like time capsules and history projects. But the question I'm asking is, what will we walk away from this experience remembering? What's going to be like deep down in our hearts? Is it going to be the family time, which has been great? Remote learning, awesome. Hoarding of toilet paper, maybe not so much. Maybe it's God's deep presence that you're feeling through this time. It made me think of a, one of my favorite Bible stories. It's out of Joshua chapters three to five. And the children of Israel had been wandering through the wilderness for 40 years. And suddenly uh, they were at the Jordan River and they, could, they were right there with the promised land. And yet there was the river in between them. And not only was it the river, but it was in full flood stage. It was raging. And God looked at the priest through Joshua and said, step into the water. And when they did, the water stopped miles up the river. And then as they were walking across, God again spoke to Joshua and said, tell 12 men, one from each tribe, to pick up a big rock and take it to the other side of the bank where your camp is and make a big pile of it. And the purpose of that was so that when your children asked, why is there that huge pile of rocks over there that you could say to them, remember what God did? Well, I was thinking about this current trend, you know, of the little stones that everybody's painting and kind of putting out in public and you go out and you, you look for them and you find them and they have these positive messages on them and um, they leave them where they can be found. And the purpose of those is that people can feel better. But just having a positive message is an empty kind of feeling better because it lasts for a little while and then it's gone. But when we put God in the middle of those positive times, when we let God be our stone that we look to, we suddenly have the purpose behind that. We can use these stones or other items like our time capsules or history projects to remind us of our God, to remind us that he protected us, that he provided for us, that he, he was present, that every promise that he said he would do, he did or you fill in the blank. Use this time to lead your children closer to Jesus. See what he's done, most importantly, that he died for them, that he loved them so much that he went to the cross. Go find some rocks, enjoy the positive moments, use them to point your children to Jesus. Have a blessed week, hashtag no fear.